Well, stocks surge as Congress is expected to take a vote on that historic $2 trillion stimulus package tomorrow. The Dow closed up 1,351 points to close at 22,052, putting the market on track for its first three-day rally in six weeks. The House is expected to follow the Senate and pass that stimulus package, the economic relief bill designed to help businesses and everyday Americans cope with the coronavirus pandemic. The president praised the Senate's passage of the measure on Twitter. CBS 4 Skylar Henry is on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are already looking to the next phase. White House officials say the president is eager to sign the $2 trillion stimulus bill to provide economic relief for the coronavirus outbreak. The president has had his pen in his hand for a very long time, so let's get that on his desk. The bill is passed. The Senate passed the bill unanimously Wednesday night, and both Democratic and Republican leaders in the House say they expect to pass the measure Friday after limited debate. It will pass with a strong bipartisan support. So I think there will be enough to make sure we get this through. When the bill becomes law, the money will start flowing quickly. Small business loans, which can convert to grants, can be turned around within 36 hours for some businesses. Unemployment insurance will go up by $600 a week as soon as next week, and the $1,200 cash payments to individuals could be directly deposited within the next three weeks. The bill also provides funding for states and cities to use to deal with the fallout from the pandemic. But some of those leaders say it doesn't go far enough. They provided money for uh, COVID, the amount of money we're, we're spending on the virus, but they just did nothing. On the, on the revenue loss. We pay taxes, more taxes than 22 states. So we'll get to the bottom of how they, they ended up treating us like a territory. House Speaker Nancy uh, Pelosi gonna, says gonna, she's had discussions so, with the Treasury uh, Secretary uh, and the Federal Reserve Chairman on ways to get states and cities more money. More state and local funding could also be included in the next phase of legislation House Democrats are working on, which Pelosi says could include measures to expand workplace safety protections, family and medical leave, and and SNAP benefits. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, in a rare network television interview, Fed Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said the country might already be in a recession. However, he is predicting a quick recovery once the coronavirus is under control. 